Can you tell me a little bit about your role at Supermicro? Absolutely, Paul. Uh, thank you for taking time and visiting a Supermicro booth in VMworld, Paul. Uh, my name is Nihir Parikh. I am responsible for certifying all our servers with VMware. And um, Paul has been instrumental in, in promoting our super servers as well and, and providing the feedback on what needs to be certified. So about that topic, I appreciate your saying that. Um, Having something on the VMware hardware compatibility list, that's been a great first step. Um, well over a decade, I was waiting for something mini tower, home lab suitable, quiet, that could actually make it on the list. So I'm thanking you publicly for helping make that happen. That was a huge step forward. Um, the next steps would be you now have many more machines, like the SYS E300 AD and E200 AD, the, the tiny little ones I was showing off upstairs all morning long today that I had a lot of interest in. So can you tell me a little bit about the plans to have those brothers and sisters of the original 5028D-TN4T to get those on the VMware uh, compatibility list? Absolutely, Paul. Good question. So we do plan to certify all those models and put it on the VMware HCL uh, as time permits. Uh, we will schedule them uh, to put it under the queue as soon as we are back from the VM world. <laughs> all right, thank you. And, um, Getting a little more into the weeds on one particular model, just announced this morning, was the Xeon D 1567. Obviously extremely close relative of the Xeon D 1541, which is of course on the VMware compatibility list. Can you give me just a little bit of insight and is it mostly paperwork? It's pretty minimal because we're talking about the same motherboard, same rev in the motherboard. I look, it's gonna be easy, I guess, but can you clarify? Sure. If it, there are two steps, one is certification and one is equivalency. So we will first try to look into the equivalency option. If that is a viable option, we will put the equivalency request with the VMware and it could be done within, within a week or two. If not, then we will have to certify the server itself. Okay, great. And then on a closing note, a little different topic is vSAN. That E200 looks quite appealing. Um, I already visited Micron, I'm trying to talk to Samsung and Intel, trying to figure out who will get a 2280 length supercapacitor equipped vSAN friendly NVMe drive out there. I don't know which vendor it is, but to fit all your various form factors, that would be the desirable length. Um, today, as I walked up to you, I happened to notice that you were showing off to a customer a little bit about what you guys are doing with vSAN. Can you just give me like a brief one minute high level overview. What is your tool there that you're showing that helps people equip your gear with vSAN so I get a, a glimpse of what I might be doing with your E200s in the future along with many other people. So, so this, this we, we are trying to build a software that would be useful for customer to configure their vSAN environment. It's, it's a work in progress, it has not been productized yet, but we are, we are showing the demo here to, to gauge the customer's feedback, to get, gauge their interest and whether they would like to see that in, in their environment or not. So what we are doing is, first, there are, it's a two-step software. First one, it, it builds the, uh, the vSAN cluster for you, uh, getting all the information about the ESXi host that you have in your environment. Second step is we deploy a small OVA into your, into your preferred data store, and it manages your cluster. It gives you information about the, what CPU you have, what memory you have, some data sensors, and also it gives you smart smart information about your hard drive, which is the critical piece of information you need to run your vSAN data center. Thank you. And um, just a slight curveball, but consumer people looking for saving money on vSAN. Not a great idea. Samsung 950 Pro, super popular. Samsung 960 coming with even more performance, but these are not on the vSAN compatibility list, right? Um, let me just ask the silly question. If someone were to try to do that anyway, will your tools work with non-vSAN drives or do your tools just preclude and tend to focus on things like, uh, okay, you're showing off Intel here, clearly data center product. Do you handle consumer stuff at all or you just don't touch it? Unfortunately, we don't, we don't, we don't touch the uh, consumer stuff. I expected that answer. Everything we're hearing here at the show and the sessions, the breakout sessions I've been at, giving very stern warnings about using storage that is not on the vSAN compatibility list. All right, well, thank you very much. Me here? If you can help me say your last name, Parikh? Great, thank you so much. I appreciate your help with everything.